All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. And uh, this actual video is going to be posted on Eyes Open Media, though. Okay, so I want to make sure that's clear that you're going to see this video on Eyes Open Media. It will also be posted on Facebook Currency 365, but the video will be on Eyes Open Media for the Eyes Open Media subscribers because I've already did a video for Currency 365, and I'm only doing one video a day for each channel of, or on Iraq. The rest of the videos are cryptocurrencies, and I need to really get back to stocks and uh, for some reason I just haven't I just forget to make the stock videos and that's maybe because I do I, I, I'm doing so many things I keep forgetting to do the stock videos but anyway stocks are coming back we're gonna check out some stocks and stuff that will be coming back on the main channel I'm not sure it's gonna be on this channel I think I'll just keep that for the main channel this channel is gonna be more about you know um, uh, over the weekend, we, we will we'll do a prayer tomorrow. I'll do a prayer video tomorrow. So a lot of you guys are like, where's the prayers? Okay, so we'll do prayer tomorrow. I know we all need prayer. We're all going through stuff. We're all fighting through a lot of things. And uh, so we'll do it. We'll do a prayer tomorrow. Uh, please remind me to do one. If I if you don't see one on there, it should be up by 6 p.m., 7 p.m. tomorrow. We'll do a prayer. We'll do maybe an, uh, uh, I, I don't know what else we'll do. Maybe we'll just do a prayer tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are talking about, uh, uh, that Mike didn't, didn't do his, uh, Bible study video yesterday. Um, they, you thought that they moved it to Wednesday. I thought so too. So I, well, no, Thursday, isn't it? Isn't it today? I don't know. I can't remember if it's Wednesday or Thursday. I think, it, I think they moved it to Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. Or maybe they kept it on Sunday. I don't know. You got to ask Mike. I don't know, but when it when he posts it, I will share it, okay? <laughs> a lot of you guys love the Bible study, and I do too. I like the live Bible study. Anyways, let's get started here with Iraq. And uh, Donald Trump has some prosperity stuff uh, that, uh, you know, he mentioned. A quick little video from Washington Post so uh, on YouTube. So we'll, we'll check that out in a second. But first, uh, we'll, go, we'll go into uh, Kuwait and Moody's, and then we'll check out the, what Trump said. Um, so here we have uh, Kuwait uh, to, uh, to hold international conference on rebuilding Iraq. Okay, so Kuwait's really interested in this stuff, man. They're talking about first quarter of next year. They're going to come in there and they're going to try to raise like $20 billion for reconstruction of Iraq. Now, remember, they're, they're, they're excited because they're about to see a revaluation in Iraq and uh, and also they're gonna get they're gonna get the last of their payments back, but that's just a little chump change compared to what they hold in Iraqi dinar to see that revaluation. So they're excited, and, uh, and so yeah, so they're they're preparing and they're they're preparing uh, with the World Bank uh, to to host conferences for reconstruction. They're gonna try to uh, you know they're gonna try to get about twenty billion dollars for the reconstruction. They want to build uh, you know. Uh, you know, hotels or maybe some uh, businesses in Iraq as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so they, they want to they wanna do all that. It says that Kuwait has always stood by Iraq via the international coalition fighting Daesh and, bi and bilaterally uh, Kuwaiti minister noted. Yeah, and I, and I even shouted out, if you guys remember back in the day, back in when I started the video, uh, uh, YouTube, and I was doing videos on the main channel, I even shouted out Kuwait because Kuwait... If it wasn't Kuwait, we wouldn't be here right now. Kuwait was so patient with Iraq, and they were so kind to Iraq. And Iraq even said how kind they've been to us um, and patient with us. Kuwait was so – Kuwait could have made things a lot worse if they weren't. And Kuwait just stood by them. They were patient with them. They did deals with them. When nobody else was doing deals with Iraq and Maliki and stuff, Kuwait was just being patient, doing deals – and knowing that they were going to win in the back end. And now you see how excited Kuwait is. They got through uh, the United Nations thing together. They, they met up. They took care of the Saddam era stuff. They, they, took, uh, they took care of all the property stuff and all the money stuff except for the last debt. And I think Kuwait wants that and revalue money just to make sure Iraq does revalue. They, they, um, you know, so they're holding that off. Uh, until Iraq revalues, I, I, you know, that 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 would be smart, in my opinion. I know some people are saying, well, well, if they know it's going to, uh, uh, people aren't talking like that, but I'm just saying, <laughs> and, you know, people are like, well, if they, if, if if they know it's going to revalue, why don't you just take the money now? When, but but who, if you take, I mean, you take, look, 
if me and you have a gun and I give you my gun, you know what I mean? Like if I give you my gun, before one of us was gonna shoot each other, right? That was guaranteed. We you have a gun, I got a gun. There's a high chance of one of us shooting each other, right? Well, somebody's gonna shoot each other, or somebody else is gonna shoot both of us. But if I give you my gun, I can no longer shoot you. But you probably now will no longer shoot me because I you have my gun, right? So I can just put my hands up and put my hand behind my back and it's over, right? So if Kuwait, you know, that's so going back to Kuwait, if Kuwait uh, accepts the funds before the revaluation, then Iraq's going to be like, oh, well, we gave you all your money and we're out of chapter seven. We don't have to revalue, right? So we can continue to be who we are. We gave you your funds back. So the thing to not allow Iraq to be like, oh, well, you know, we put our hands up. Uh, we're not going to be, we're not going to be revaluing. We're, we're, we're going to stick to who we are. And we've already gave uh, Kuwait back their funds back. So no one can bother us about that. It's for Kuwait to say, we don't want our funds back until you revalue. Then you give us our funds back, right? So keeping that pressure on them. Also, I believe that the referendums is putting a heavy pressure on Iraq to make a move. And this was what I said it was going to happen in 2015. But Kuwait, I mean, not Kuwait, but Kurdistan region backed out of it and didn't go all the way. And this year, it looks like the Kurdistan region is going all the way. And they're going to go all the way to the referendum date. And that's what's going to put the pressure on the uh, CBI and the IMF and the World Bank and Iraq and, uh, com and the Finance Committee to give the Kurds what they want, which is the economic reform. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want them economic reforms. They want that. You know what I mean? Everybody wants the, the citizens want the economic reforms. <laughs> okay, so that's going to put the pressure on them. So Kuwait's uh, happy, happy to see what's going on, happy that Iraq probably has dropped the three zero notes on paper and everything. They're happy that they're seeing the economic reforms about the launch Happy about a lot of things, so they're going to be helping out. They're going to be, they're going to go and and and, and gather a rack of money to, to help Iraq with reconstruction. All right, so let's get into this uh, video, and then we'll get into Moody's here because Moody's did give uh, Iraq. Uh, and I told you, you know, it's funny. It's kind of not funny, but it's interesting because just a couple of days ago, I said uh, usually around August, September, we hear from the credit unions. Uh, or the credit people, you know, the Moody's, the Standard and Poor, the Finch around around August, September. So we might, I mean, not, uh, no, August, and, yeah, August, September. And I said we might hear from them. If we don't hear from them in August and September, we'll hear from them in the beginning of the year. And, if, and we probably will, if we do hear from them in August and September, we'll probably hear from them again in the beginning of the year and the rate and, the, and the, their credit rating will be even better. Okay, so. And so, yeah, so that's what happened. And it's interesting that we got those three people, those three big entities to give the credit ratings right before the economic reforms. So there you go. And this is why the bonds, the international bonds are selling so well. Now we now we see. OK, so let's go here. Ivanka's looking pretty there. Um, not mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I said that. OK, I don't <laughs> don't know. OK, Um Let's just go. <laughs> Together, we're unleashing a new era of American prosperity, perhaps like we've never seen before. And you see it day by day. You don't hear too much from the media, but I think the media is going to actually be forced to cover it pretty soon. They're going to have no choice. I'm very inspired to be in the company of such motivated entrepreneurs, people, people that I really respect because I know what it takes. I've been there and believe me, I know what it takes. You are the dreamers and the innovators who are powering us into the future. It's exactly what you are. And my administration will be there with you every single step of the way. And so will these people right here. Every single step of the way. So thank you. And thank you very much. All right, so there you go. So prosperity, Donald Trump, the president of the United States says prosperity is coming, perhaps like we've never seen before. Hmm, interesting. Interesting because I didn't even know that video existed. It just had, came out like August 1st because I, I was on Periscope last night and uh, listening to the replay of Prophet of Solomon's uh uh periscope and she was telling talking about what uh you know what 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 uh what god was telling her and that he was about to unleash in this season 
Now, I don't know how long this season's going to be because, you know, we have seasons in, in, in the spiritual realm and the godly realm, right? So there's there's seasons, right? Of course, uh, in the natural, we have seasons, you know, winter, fall, spring, and summer. But, you know, uh, spiritually, we have seasons as well. We have marital seasons. There's seasons where people get a lot of married. People have a lot of babies and all. People have wealth and all this stuff. So God is saying, God was telling her that, that and she was telling everybody on Periscope, and I was watching the replay, uh, and a shout out to Prophet of Solomon because I I could never get on the uh, on the live you know I always have to catch the replay because we're I'm doing all this all day long um, you know and things online so I I can't really get to the to the live streams but God was saying that He was about to pour out uh, you know financial just blessings and blessings and blessings of uh, in this season from uh, actually this, and it was going to carry into next year. Uh, and I and I and I'm truly believed that that's the cryptocurrencies. That's the uh, you know the, the and and then also the currencies that we're following that we expect the economic reforms to launch. Right, Vietnam, Iraq, uh, Iran, and uh, who's the other ones that we're talking about? Um, okay, Indonesia looks like it's gonna lock, but they could always God could always change that. So uh, you know if you're holding Indonesia, I told you guys just to hold on to it because God could always change that. He can always go into their minds and change and change their minds to not lop it, but actually uh, you know change it, drop the zeros and then add value to it, right? And do it that way like Iraq. So right now they're talking about lopping it on Indonesia, but God can always change that and say, no, we're not going to lop it any longer. We are going to actually copy Iraq and and take the zeros, but give purchasing power. So that's why. I'm saying you never know okay uh so yeah so if you got Indonesia I would just hold it just in case they do it okie doke on you and say no we're gonna lock we're, we're gonna drop the zero but get purchasing power like Iraq okay since since we saw Iraq work very well it worked very well in Iraq we'll do the same thing in Indonesia we could see something like that okay so you never know or they could just lock it okay <laughs> um anyways Moody's gives stable outlook for Iraqi government, okay, so Moody's, uh, Finch uh, gave an outlook, a positive, uh, positive outlook, Standard & Poor positive outlook for the for their bonds, and now Moody's gives a stable outlook for the for the Iraqi government, okay, and I think this is going to change uh, from uh, Moody's uh, early next year once they do the economic reforms and everything, because that's what they're waiting on to get them a positive outlook. We're going to see a positive outlook after 1118. Um, I believe, uh, you know, because the economic reforms should happen between now and then that time. And Moody's is going to give an, a, a not, not no longer a stable outlook, but a positive outlook for the Iraqi government. And that's what's going to happen once they release the economic reforms. OK, they can't do that now because they, there's, there's no economic reforms that have been launched. OK, but they, they're, they're happy about Mosul being liberated and things of that nature. And they know that uh, and they're talking about the government has to do other things than, than oil because oil is down and, and they have to, you know, do other things, restructure their, their, their economics uh, so they can survive through the oil, oil oil woes and stuff like that. And they see stuff happening, so they're giving them a, a stable outlook. And they can, they'll change it to positive once they see the economic reforms come out. Okay, so let's go here. So thousands of protesters in Tyree Square in central Baghdad uh, in response to Sauter's appeal. So there it is. So people in Baghdad and Tyree Square chilling, uh, and also they're trying to re make sure Maliki does not have does not have no way to come back in power. Um, Lebanon Lebanese newspaper says Sadr demonstrations fall within the mo movement uh, to block the return of Al Maliki to power. And, you know this is kind of interesting because this guy named Maliki swore up and down that he has no plans, no plans to go back into any type of power. Uh, especially prime minister, no plans. But yet, we have a whole, we have people all over Iraq demonstrating because Maliki wants to go into power, come back to power, and they're not going to have it. Okay, so Maliki is telling people, the interviewers one thing, and then telling, and then telling other people behind, uh, you know, in the in the political realm another thing. And we already know. I called them out on it. Of course, that video didn't get monetized. This video most likely won't be monetized either. Okay, I don't make any money on Iraq video. I keep telling you guys that only about 30% of my Iraq videos are monetized. The rest of them are not monetized. So thank you guys for donating because <laughs> uh, I don't make any money. The only money I make is on the cryptocurrency videos and the crypto news videos and, and stuff like that. I don't even make, I don't even think you make money on the, um, 
on the religious stuff any longer anymore. So, I mean, YouTube is just, is, YouTube is not the place to be anymore. Uh, they're sucking people dry. One of the guys that I was listening to used to watch his videos all the time. Uh, he came out and said that, uh, that his channel looks like it's done because YouTube has just demonetized everything that he does, even in, even in the clean versions uh, of, of pranking and stuff that he does. They, he, they can't even make any money on YouTube any longer. So, and he's telling people to go to Patreon and help him. So, I mean, this is happening all throughout YouTube. So, yeah, not surprised. Government clarification. Uh, and they're going to come after the cryptocurrencies next. Because, they, they, I mean, they have some, I mean they're, they're going to be bored of going after the pranksters and the, the vloggers and the people, the religious people, you know, and the people that talk about Iraq and stuff like that. Now they're going to, soon, by next year, they're going to be going after the crypto people. So, <laughs> when I make my transition all the way to cryptocurrencies, you know, then they're going to be coming after that. So I won't even be able to progress on that either. So it's <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Uh, government clarification of the air transport agreement between Iraq and America. Okay, cool. Uh, supplementary budget in Iraq uh, to counter the deadline in, in oil and I war losses. All right. So let's move on here. Let's finish it off here. Uh, quick video. Not too long. There's really nothing much to talk about else. We, we, they had a demonstration. Nothing's gonna come off this demonstration. It was a waste of time. And uh, you know, when they when they went when they're ready to be at the brink, then everything will happen for them. But they're, they're not ready for that. They're being trained, and uh, the, and the the fact that Sauter met with a body before the uh, protest happened was a red flag to me. I was like, man, these two people are in and on together on this, on these people. They're using these, uh, the, these citizens for bait just to waste time. And, and the citizens should be, uh, you know, should not even come out the house to do, to waste their time with this. Uh, they're moving the reforms along. Uh, the IMF is happy. Uh, World Bank is happy. They're, they got the three zeros dropped on paper, according to people in Iraq. And, and, uh, and they're going to see the ATMs and the credit cards soon. Uh, this was more about the elections and Maliki trying to get back in power. So I see that. Um, and uh, Maliki cannot get back into power because the U.S. Marines will just annihilate him, in my opinion. Uh, and Donald Trump will give them the word to go ahead and do that. And uh, so that wouldn't even be a f And this is why, once again, this is why Maliki is calling on Russia to come into the country of Iraq. Because he wants to make that move to power, and he wants the Russian troops to back him to become to be able to get back into power. Okay, without the Russian troops there, uh, the you know Donald Trump can send the word, and, and you know if anything goes down with Maliki and him trying to get back as a prime minister, he they he can just take take the word from the, the U.S. Marines and say get rid of him, and they'll get rid of him. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Nothing has happened to Sauter yet, even though he had death death threats. Nothing has happened to Sauter yet. Okay, so uh, those plans have been done. Uh, you know, maybe maybe something will later. Maybe uh, Maliki's gonna say something and say I need Sauter out the way because I want to get back into power, and they're gonna they'll they'll try to do something to Sauter. I don't know, but we're gonna see, we could see some bloodshed before we see the economic reforms. That wouldn't be surprised to me, okay? And we also could see uh, you know, bloodshed in, in, uh, uh, on, on a high level uh, on somebody, a high-profile person, on the day of the revaluation. So uh, keep in mind that, okay? So 28.40 for Bitcoin. We still can't get over that 29. Uh, you know, I think it's, no, 3,000 mark. We can't get over that 3,000 mark for some reason. Uh, it could be the feds. It could be uh, the, the uh, it could be, um, U.S. Treasury could be the banks, the, the criminal banks, uh, to, uh, you know, buying the Bitcoin and then selling it so it could never get over 3000. I don't know. It, it looks like there's a cap on Bitcoin at 3000, like we were talking about three months ago when I got that word from my friend. And I told you guys and you some of you guys got really, really uh, disappointed at me for saying that. And Bitcoin still can't get over 3000. OK, so, um, you know. I want Bitcoin to go kaboom, right? Like, like, like Champagne Crypto says. But we're having a problem here with Bitcoin at being capped at three thousand. You guys can see it clearly, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm, you know, we, we're not insane people. We, we're, we're, we're people who see things in, in, into the future before it happens. That's, it's called prophetic, okay? And uh, you guys are seeing it clearly that Bitcoin is having a hard time 
crossing 3,000. Okay, and uh, something is keeping it down. Okay, I don't know what it is. It could be the banksters. It could be the the Fed. It could be Janet Yellen and the Fed making sure it doesn't go over because she knows if it goes past three thousand, it's gonna kaboom and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, you know worldwide. People are gonna notice it more than ever before. So we gotta you know you guys gotta pray about it, man. Like, hey God, uh, whatever's holding Bitcoin down, remove it. You know, remove it. Let's go. Let's get this thing cranking. And uh, so, yeah, so that's what's going on with Bitcoin after I, after I just ran it there. Um, today's a day of rants. You know, today's a day of historical rants and historical uh, 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 teachings and historical um, uh, prophesying, okay? So don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, hey, you'd rather be alive listening to me than being shot at by the cops, um, you know, because I just heard a story about uh, a, a guy who was shot at 76 times by the cops. I mean, this is unprecedented. And actually, he was the wrong suspect. So they shot the wrong guy, and and, and they, they shot at him 76 times. I think his funeral's tomorrow in, in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, yeah, and they want justice for, for him. 76 shots at, at a wrong per suspect. I mean, my goodness, what are we doing in America? That's why I'm, that's why I'm in I'm, I'm, that's why I'm in Mars, man. I'm just I'm chilling in Mars. I'm not I'm not messing with people, man. I don't talk to people. I you know, I, I stay to myself and uh, I'm in Mars, man. I'm on my Mars iPhone, man, and uh, I'm just chilling, man. Uh, America and the and the Earth is crazy right now, man. It's just, it's just crazy, crazy. It seems like the cops are are at war with um, with Americans, man. It's it's crazy. You're here to protect and serve, man. Not to not to raise war with your own citizens, man. So it's crazy, man. Uh anyways, Ethereum at 219 and a Litecoin at 42. Litecoin is looking to break out, but it, it that 43 is holding it back, and man. Every time it hits 43, it, it dumps back down to about 40. So people are making money from 40 to 43, looks like. Until it's ready to break out of that 43 and and go up to 50 uh, 50 plus again. All right, so that's it. Donald Trump calls for uh, and Donald Trump expects prosperity and says that prosperity is coming uh, to America and and to those people in America and uh, and uh, we're gonna see it and it's already happening now and it's gonna get even bigger and bigger and bigger and the mainstream media is gonna have to cover it. They're gonna have no choice but to cover the prosperity. And that links up with what I heard last night on Periscope with Prophet of Solomon saying that God told her that pro that he's about the, that he's re uh, bringing down from the spiritual realm prosperity to his people like never before into this uh, this time frame all the way into 2018 uh prosperity is going to rain down and i know it's definitely in the cryptos because i've been calling the bull market coming for the cryptos in the third week of august all the way till next may we're going to be in a bull market for cryptos and we're going to see a lot of millionaires being made from the cryptos and then also iraq and vietnam and others that's going to be a great time frame for them to make their move uh and and uh, revalue and uh do their thing so we'll see what happens we'll see uh we just got to continue to go along with it and uh see what happens peace out everybody eyes open god bless be safe out there man uh wherever you are around the world be safe and uh and stay prayed up, and uh, God bless you and your family. Shalom. Eyes open. Bye.